Hello, hello. My name is Mike Similiano. And I'm Alex C. Mills. This is Red Light on 5th, and we are here with Denim Haircut. Perfect. Oh my, that was amazing. Yeah, well, that was great. It only took four tries. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. <laughs>
Thank you. All right, guys, we're back here with the denim haircut. That was a fantastic set. Amazing. Thank you. I have a lot of questions for you guys, um, but I'm mostly interested in your all's performance. Uh, what I think is weekly at the Blind Pig. That's what I see online, at least. Uh, and it's like three hour shows or something like that. Every band that I talk to always tells me, like, just stay away from playing those shows. But you guys freaking spearhead it. Uh, I want to hear what that's like. Yeah, um, I think I think it's a necessary evil. It's it's kind of something that we have a good time doing it. But I think if you're looking at the bigger pictures, we kind of consider it a means to an end. Uh, yeah. You got a bunch of tourists on Dirty Sixth. They're visiting the live music capital of the world. They're yeah. super excited to see a live band. And then boom, we're up there playing like a Heart of Glass cover or, you know, free covering bird. Iron. A free bird. Yeah, or, or yeah, they're they're yelling out free bird and we're doing that. I mean, it's great though because you got a bunch of folks. By the end of the night, they're a little tipsy. They're giving you a bunch of follows. They're just telling and you tips oh, too. You guys are awesome. The tips are pretty good. Yeah, but uh, I think something that we've been working on more is kind of transitioning from the cover sets on Dirty to do more of our own stuff and mm -hmm. play at venues around town that we'd like to make inroads at to where if you got a touring band that more or less fits the vibe of yeah. denim haircut, we're top of mind to where they're like, all right, well, we've got a local mm -hmm. opener and, and they rock and here's their originals and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Yeah, it was it was nice, you know, starting off at the Blind Pig. Love that place. I will always have a special place in my heart. I did lie to get us that venue gig How for the so? first time. <laughs> I uh, I told him I was yeah, the manager. Yeah, we got three hours. I told him I was the manager for a really awesome up and coming rock band, and that we could play better than the band that was playing that night, and was really drunk. And Whoa. he so you, were there, me. you were there as a patron, and you were right? Just I was just shit. a patron <laughs> chilling. Actually, took like three times. R.I.P. Like, that first band. I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean they were good. It was just I was talking shit, and uh, next thing you know, he was like, "All right, can you play this Friday?" And we were like. I was like, no problem, just fucked up. And he was like, yes, yeah, three hours, we'll pay you this much, show up Friday. We were like, all right, cool. I called Julian, and I was like, hey, we got to learn three hours of material in less, How than, much did you have? In less than six How days. How much did you have? We had, we had four songs. We no had, shit. Well, we had five, we had five originals, <laughs> yeah. okay. and we knew maybe four covers well enough to like perform. And for like three hours, you're looking at like a 30-song set list. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we four, 30 to 40, yeah. yeah. At least, yeah we, yeah. we extended a lot. We learned a bunch of stuff like, in that how do you even week pick like how do you pick? like you just get the fan faves we literally we... just picked the easiest songs we could learn like the white show you like guys born, do a kick we did like white born shows? on a bayou and shit like where it's yeah. born just, on a like, bayou seven nation like, army very simple songs yeah, yeah. black magic woman just right. like, but, the, but those songs will get will get drunk people but, really excited mm -hmm. and honestly that's, that's that was before antoine's time that literally we no didn't way. even have so a this was before yet. pandemic yeah this, this was kind of just in 2020 i think our first set at the blind pig was like no, it was 2021, like What's right that? at the turn of the new year. I'm pretty sure. Could have been. Who knows? Anyways, yeah, but Antoine, we, we hit up Antoine because we were like, hey, man, all we do is like looper stuff. And I would I had a looper pedal and a bass pedal. So I, I would, saw you got pretty tricky with it. I, I looped like a yeah. bass line, but you can only do so much with a looped bass line until yeah. you need a live bassist. So we brought Antoine in. We started jamming and stuff. And we were like, man, if you're down, we'll, we'll make this like a full time deal. And you can just yeah. like join up with us so i met you all um and i don't know if you guys remember this in one to one yep. and it was a special night for me because it was the first show that i ever did that was like 45 shout minutes. out hell yeah and you guys were super nice to me man you guys like gave me some amazing feedback and it gave me the confidence to keep playing and that's one of the reasons why i reached out to you for you guys to play also because you guys rock it all the time <laughs> around town that, man. um but yeah, it, 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 it was tremendous for me because I felt like, okay, if they think I'm cool and they were freaking awesome, then I could, <laughs> I could keep playing. It's, it was a good thing. That's awesome. Well, you're the man, Max. You oh, yeah. blew us away when we, when we heard you play and Thank your songing you, and storytelling stuff was incredible. It was all downhill. I, I, I stopped playing after that. But, uh, <laughs> this is what you do now. So. But, I, but I remember that, that Anton, you were just joining. Yeah. 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 I think they, were, uh, they had done it for a while in college and uh, me and Julian just met each other out and... I forgot how we mentioned the recording studio, but we went to like Music Lab and we had one session together. We played um, 
and I didn't know how to play bass. I didn't. I, I, I lied to them. Did you lie, dude? A bunch of band of liars. Yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, you just got to fake it till you make it. That's what I, that's what I always say. Yeah, dude. And it just it just it worked. We had a like a synergy, uh, and I feel like we really um, kind of worked off of each other really yeah. well. And yeah. Yeah. I remember that day because I remember we were looking for a bassist, but we weren't really actively looking. And then I was just like, "Fuck it, let's just get a gig." We got one, and then Antoine was the first bass we tried out, and like. I just remember the first song we played together, me and Antoine were fucking vibing back there on the rhythm section. So I was like, this will work. Let's get them. Yeah. And it only gets better. And then, hey, where are we now? Three years later, two years later. And yeah, you had that Epiphone fire. Yeah, my Thunderbird. 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 That's right. That's right. That's sick, dude. Yeah, I miss that Thunderbird. I'm probably going to get another one. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. Do it, man. It was a a piece of shit. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. I bought it off of like Let let Go or something. And like one of the the pickups was broken and I didn't even notice. Cause like I didn't know how to play bait, and then someone like came and switched my knob, and they're like, "You have no sound off of the top board," and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I don't need it, bro. I don't need that sound. Uh, That's my yeah. sound. We've come a long way, very long way." <laughs> what are some uh, war stories? Uh, I know you guys have a few on the blind, the blind pig. That whole summer was like we did so, like a circuit, yeah. So they we, booked the one to one show was like the first show that was like coming back from the pandemic, right? Right, like it was early. It was twenty twenty one. Yeah, because yeah. they live streamed it, which was definitely yeah. like the flavor was, yeah. of the week at the time was like yeah. you know, live stream shit and whatever. But yeah. that was when we so we got booked for two shows. We booked a buckshot show and a blind pig show, both three hours, same owner, whatever. And after that, they were like, "All right, awesome. We're gonna set you guys up with." I think we had like. 12 dates from like that yeah. april to september like called residency the dirt, just, just called the dirty tour pretty much the dirty circuit yeah <laughs> we called it only but, play dirty six street but yeah that so was yeah. uh just you know taking your own amps and shit up dirty six street dodging the like crackheads in the alleys and stuff mm-hmm. like that yeah. was kind mm-hmm. of a nightmare we I got in a fight in a staircase. Uh, <laughs> no That's the most rock and roll thing we've yeah, ever done. Live really on one we'll have show. To get into that. That while was, you guys were playing, yeah, yeah while we were playing. It was the greatest thing. I want you to tell me about this. <laughs> <laughs> what that? Uh, there was. Uh, it's this guy. Look, and this guy is a good guy too, mind you. Well, your friend, your he, friend's he, with he's not my friend. friend. He's my friend. <laughs> not my friend. <laughs> he's, oh, my friend. he's one of Antoine's friends, and he's a good guy. He had come out to a show before, but I guess uh, at this particular show, he'd gotten pretty hammered, and found out later, like overserved the bartenders were about to kick him out but they hadn't quite yet yeah long story short well, he's he kept, on the list yeah he was close and he kept coming up to the stage and he kept like bothering anthony trying to get his attention he was just like hey hey i got bars and i couldn't tell if he was saying like i got bars like i'm gonna rap yeah, with you yeah. guys or i got xanax <laughs> and i was sure like he wanted to either way either i was way. like dude get away from the stage i kept telling him he comes up one last time towards the end of the set, and I were at this little like three foot stage. Well, hold on. he tried to like grab the mic and sing War Pigs. It was no, like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, this no. was earlier. <laughs> Wrong. No, excuse he, me. He comes up to Antoine one last time, and he comes up to the stage, and I kicked his drink up his hands onto his chest. I jumped and, a he's, bit. and he's all pissed off, and like, and we're like mid song, and we're just like fucking playing, <laughs> and and he walks away, and we think that's the end of it. And this is like the third time he's come up to the stage. And then we're on our last song. We're covering War Pigs, which is like you you know, do. big opening yeah. note, yeah, crowd yeah, pleaser yeah, at yeah. the end. So we hit that opening note, just bang, bam, bam, bam. And like out of nowhere from behind me, this guy comes up, jumps on stage and he pushes me in the back. And I'm like immediately furious. And he pushes me and he kind of hobbles away. He's all drunk, running towards the stairs, like the exit. Are you guys still playing when this is that? Like, I, can, you don't I can see this well, in my head right now. This is one of my favorite memories. So, I, so he pushes me. I throw my guitar down and it's feeding back near the amp, just like, what? So, and like yeah, it's chaos. So I yeah. and I, it's like a flint. It's like a fucking. To Tom answer and Jerry. your question, yes, we're still playing. We're still going. Yeah, it's but like yeah, a, yeah, and so we were like, yeah. what's going on? It's like a cartoony. Like I chase him into the staircase, and like everybody in the crowd's like, what the fuck's going on, right? Yeah. And we disappear into the staircase, and it's like a cloud of dust and scuffle <laughs> and whatever. And like I walk back out, and I have a hole in my shirt, ripped like a Care Bear little tummy deal, and I'm like walking <laughs> out and. He's all screwed up in like the staircase and they the bartenders kicked him out, but we go on stage and Cody I remember him going like, Hey, hey, yeah, we gotta finish this song. Like just, yeah. just get on stage. Go. The show so then we go, he he counts us off again and I hit the opening note again, but now it's all out of tune. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, like yeah, yeah. adrenaline and I got my like stomach out all goofy, just like just out like a perfect circle. And anyway, so they kicked him out and we finished the song. And the bartender like handed me a, a t shirt that was like a, he's like, This is a small, yeah, yeah, yeah. all we have. 
And I was like, okay, that's better. So I put it on and now my stomach is like, just like out that <laughs> like way. Right? Top, yeah. And he was like, man, we were about to kick that guy out. I'm so sorry that like we didn't. And I was like, yeah, shit timing, I guess. But <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah. So that's no. like literal war story from like that scene, that circuit of like dirty, but we're cool now by the, like yeah. that guy is <laughs> great. He, friends had, he had, he had no idea. That was he my buddy. That was, a, that was the first time. No, he drinks. <laughs> 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 but that was the first time he'd come out to a show. So they had never seen him. They didn't know who he was. They thought he was just a rando. And I remember that cause I had like, just torn my ACL or it was something. So I was like barely standing. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. he ran and pushed Julian and then Julian like barely touched me. And I was about to fucking fall. Look, Cause I was just <laughs> all wobbly and I was like, what the hell? And I look over and he like, just like, just like pounced on him like Dude. a jungle cat. <laughs> like, so cool. Left hooks just Bum. flam. Flat. You got so right though? whenever he chased after him, I dropped the sticks and ran. And then I like my dad was at the show, and he was the first one to try to break up the fight. And he's told he talked about it all the time. He's like, I grabbed Julian's arm, and all he felt was just straight muscle. And he was yeah, like, you're pretty. You're he was pretty like, I didn't guy. know Julian was this yeah, strong. I'm fucking huge. Yeah, Dude, he's ma- <laughs> when yeah, he's pissed yeah. off, he's massive, and he was just ah, just going crazy. I run over. Julian is like, fucking <laughs> yeah, ah! and I go, hey. This is the most metal thing we've ever done. Get back on stage. That's like Molly, that's like Molly Cruz stuff, dude. Yeah, or like sick, Rolling man. Stones. It yeah, it was. That's I mean, it would be cool. cool if it was like some guy we hated and then was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know. But no, I had to be like, but man, see, not, I'm sorry. nothing like that is happening to Alex or I when we play like a brewery. <laughs> no. You, you know, don't play it's a, a brewery like show and it's around. like folk yeah, songs. Yeah, and yeah. So, yeah, well, that kind of sounds nice compared to that. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, literal war stories. Nice stories. Yeah, that first few years, first few months. I mean, towed a lot. Got towed. Cody's got towed. I got towed. There's a very funny picture of me being like. <laughs> Figuring uh, out Dirty well, Six is yeah. like Cody left his truck and he leaves the show. It's gone. She's gone. Like, Shit's got stolen. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all my like, gear stolen. Yeah. Yeah. About someone dropped a beer in your guitar case. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, we venue. saw that way too late. Man, we Anthony, the show and Anthony, round two. Anthony made a mistake because the guy was hammered and he came up same place at Buckshot and the guy was like signaling to the stage like hmm, me, you, huh? And Anthony was like nodding like okay, sure, whatever. Right, but he thinks that you means he like was just super into. I had no idea. What he what he thought is, can I pick up Julian's spare guitar that's near his amp and play with you guys? And you said yes. No, well, I didn't no know idea. what he was. He was like yeah. the guy was like, mm-hmm. and Anthony was like, oh, whatever. Yeah, right, like nodding. Yeah, yeah. And then he gets up, and I was like, get away, like mid song again, yeah, like yeah, stop, yeah. get away. So he takes his like, and I know it was a whiskey coke because of the way my guitar case oh. still smells and how my guitar is like sticky on the back panel or whatever. Like, but yeah, he just dumped <laughs> a fucking and then walked off like a coward. At least stand there and let us fight you. I should have fought that guy. I think I figured out <laughs> yeah. from that moment that next time that happens, like you got to put your guitar down and just go. And we and sound and bad. We, we sound like we case. fight our fans, dude. I mean, it's dirty <laughs> six. You guys are playing. <laughs> we're in not above. Yeah. Not since then. <laughs> That's been two it's like years ago. Playing bur- on bourbon or something like it's like it's, yeah. an, it's yeah. a crazy street. Yeah, but it's we're very strange. grateful for coming up Absolutely. for the first few months just doing that shit because like doing a three hour set is. No joke. Well, it's, it's a ten thousand hours, right? Like you guys are. Yeah. It teaches you a lot about yeah. how to like carry yourself on stage, how to be a good, better musician. Some it's one like, of our we we're still or, learning, or just to know? be comfortable. Honestly, you're up there for a while, yeah. so like, yeah, yeah at yeah. some point you gotta like unclinch. And just one like, of our friends yeah. told us, yeah. told me down. this around that time because I was kind of like telling him like, yeah, the the dirty scene is like it's cool, but you know we don't we don't want to be there forever or whatever. Yeah. And he said, he told me he's like, man, Julian, I heard this thing from Van Halen. They talked about coming up and they could play every top 40 hit front to back because they were just getting booked to do that in LA coming up. Yeah. And they attribute that to being such great musicians because yeah. they could just like- Same with the Beatles. Pick it. Right, there you go, right? Yeah, yeah. playing at the, the cave or whatever yeah, 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 place yeah. they came up at. So yeah, so all said and done, like it's it's something we're grateful for, for sure. We do it less now. We kind of were more selective with the, yeah, the slots we it definitely well, shows. We played there, November, October last year. It's been a while. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's been a second. I saw you guys one time on the street. Uh, I, was, I was going to a comedy show. There you go. Yeah, I was that's like, right. Dude, these guys are all, they're freaking the Sixth Street yeah. rockabillies, dude. That's cool. Yeah, it was a good And time. then yeah. you guys released uh, an album recently. Dude, did. Who did your all's Claymation? That was freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, it reminds Spain, me of man. that uh, Celebrity Deathmatch. We found death a guy match. in Spain. That's, yes. That was the idea. Was that was celebrity like what you told him to do? Or Deathmatch. Yeah, really so, yeah. Cool, so Cody came up with the name. He wanted to call it Off the Top Rope, um, which is a great name. And I was like, all right, well, from that, like, so you thinking wrestling? Match. You were thinking wrestling? Yeah, I was just thinking like we're trying to make a splash in the scene with like a different type of sound because like we we play like all sorts of different types of genres, but not a lot of people are blending them all together like we do. 
So I was thinking we're trying to, you know, the original name I came up with was Geronimo, like literally just like jumping into a pool, essentially, yeah, yeah, was the yeah. idea. And then Off the Top Rope came from that. And then... Yeah, well, yeah, so we... I came up with like, let's make it celebrity deathmatch kind of in that spirit. Let's do something claymation or whatever. But we didn't know who to reach out to for that. So I kind of yeah. just fired off a few Instagram messages. I just like looked up the claymation like hashtag or whatever and yeah. picked a few winners. And I hit up probably three of them and only one got back to me. Uh, shout out Tony Alarco Studios. Shout um, out Tony. Shout out. Tony. That dude came back and he was like, uh, he's from Spain, first of all, which like I guess I didn't pick up from his Instagram, but like hey, setting Tony. up. Yeah, hey, he's Tony. setting up these. Like, yeah, he's <laughs> like, yeah. So he did our he did our stuff and like did it for like on our budget because I guess he's used to doing animations and videos and we're just like yeah. we just need one frame. Yeah, yeah. So you take our likeness, one frame, and like that's it, and just send it back to it us. It is so cool. Man. And and yeah, we had another graphic designer, uh, Monda Green Pictures, Jake Stewart, Jake Monda Stewart. Green Pictures, shout, shout out. out. He threw the uh, the text on top and made it look like the uh, PlayStation Two. It video does game look like cover. yeah, it looks like PlayStation. So yeah. he took like the PlayStation Celebrity Deathmatch cover and you know flipped Ooh. it denim haircut style and you know put our copyright. Own. Yeah, definitely a copyright <laughs> issue. I don't think we thought that far ahead. Please on don't that. sue us. The way I see it is if we have copyright issues at this point, we're at that like any publicity is good publicity. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's why like, that's why we're sponsored by Miller Lite. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's probably a good time to mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sponsored by Miller Lite. I'll turn the logo. It's always Miller time at Red Light. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys put out a new album. Uh, what, what are the goals this year? Because uh, you guys are getting super creative with videos coming out and you guys are doing a show at the Steve Ray Vaughn statue. Yep. Uh, this will tomorrow. probably come out way after no, that. Saturday, yeah. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. I forgot what day it is. Today's Thursday. Yes. Today's Thursday. Two yeah. days. Uh, but what goals? What goals do you have this? Or just just moving forward? I mean, because you guys got some cool chemistry. You guys are super fun to hang with, and it shows on stage that you guys are actual friends. And I think that goes super far with with playing in a band. Yeah, I think. I mean. It's an assumption, but uh, I think the next step is just world domination. <laughs> really, yeah? just like put our face anywhere. What's the first step? You don't that. think that's that big of a leap? Yeah, no? not really. Going from, we're close. That. Just a lot of content, man. It's it's hard to keep up because like now everything is social media, and with social media, it's like fresh content every single day. So it's yeah. just like trying to get your name out there. So it's like, yeah, we're doing merch, but now we got to do videos mm -hmm. and uh, interviews and social medias and and you know mingle. It's a lot of. Yeah. You, your face and name has to be everywhere yep. you know so it and really constantly is. too like it's it's sort of daunting that like you can have like a fire video that does well but next week is forgotten about yeah. forever dude it's like nothing lasts even singles like it's mm -hmm. just it's cool for a week and then and then sure. on to the next one that's why you gotta yeah. capitalize on it too and you have a little bit of momentum and you get a good song like start yeah, firing right. out trying to get shows yeah, yeah. i think that's also yeah. our goal is just really just try to build the base of our fans you know just like yeah. try to like get more exposure across the nation across the country or across the world we have three fans in korea and so nice we're trying to double that this year which uh, um, north i have south? no idea probably north, north. Probably probably north. north. hopefully <laughs> north kim it might be kim but no uh, <laughs> no I, we're really just trying to grow and, and go and you know we we have like several goals in mind yeah. as far as like we want to get on some festival lineups. We want to open for some acts around town to try to build yeah. that base. Yeah. But that's really the overarching goal. Just get people to fucking like it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And everyone, every time we play, people love it. But it's like we need to get more people to hear it. Yeah. Well, dude, we're, we are definitely rooting for y'all. We're going to now hear some more songs. Thanks again for being here. Honestly, yes. it was amazing. Yeah. We were rocking out hard. Um, you were the only one sweating, Julian. I'm the sweatiest man alive. Happens. I'm the sweatiest man alive, and you're gonna see it yeah. here on this next song yes. and the one after that. We actually bottle it. We that. sell it on our website if you want to bottle with <laughs> Julian Sweat. You guys heard it here. Uh, well, let's really? let's um, <laughs> let's play let's play together this year and keep it going, dude. Let's do keep it, man. the dream going, and yeah, we're gonna champion you guys. Yeah. Let's yeah, hear thanks. some more music. Thanks you guys so are awesome, guys, man. man. Thank you guys awesome. for having us, man. Thank you, guys. appreciate it. <laughs> you and no one knows about that black cat who passed me along the road I knew you were trouble when you crossed my path now my heart is aching from the spell you cast i
right there, but I'm trying to keep my shit all together. Now I'm just realizing there's no hope. There's no hope. Your program scheduled to finish I think back to the instance I could have helped but I didn't I know Yes, I know The first to forget is the wisest Passing through houses divided Wondering where I'll be when you need me for guidance I'm gone And I'm gone There'll be a price to pay there's not another way I'll pop by the river You're so far away You're on borrowed time You said tomorrow time I'll go back to the river Not so far away Some tips are gentle reminders We are all ash in the fire Looking for answers to questions But we're all liars I know Yes, I know oh. The dust hits my eyes and I'm blinded Bullets went from the horizon Gave me a reason for dying She calls my name out I'm gone And I'm gone There'll be a price to pay There's not another way I'm out by the river Not so far away Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate y'all coming out to see the sweatiest men in America play this show for y'all. Antoine rocked his headphones off. That's a really good sign. Let's 
Keep yourself together just right It's all a lie And I'm happy just to bring it to life Hell yeah, thank you guys. We appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for having us. Until next time, man. Thanks again. Peace.